in a new release of Photoshop, the Content Aware tool become even better. So you remember what's happened before if we have an image and for example, I want to remove just this building. So I'm going around and I maybe select the Iran building. Like those areas. Okay, and next, usually what I done, shift backspace. So we have content where we'll fill up with this and kind of looking. And you can notice right here it's actually repeating some of this portion, repeating other areas. And this is not that bad, but sometimes it's worse because it depend where is a big up. So let's undo this. And nice things undo in new Photoshop, it's keep on doing. So if you press Control Z and Control Z and more and more, or Command Z, it will keep on going, which is nice. So right now, for example, I create this one, but I want um, don't fill up, don't use the house. So for this reason, I can go inside the edit and I can select Content Aware Fill. And you notice this is brand new. So what is meaning right here, we actually can select which area we want to select to fill it. So for example, if I don't want um, fill in some of this area, I can just take and remove there my sampling areas. So I can go right here, it says don't take this house. Okay, now maybe nothing under below, don't take this tower. Be going around this area. And you know, I maybe want to sample maybe around forest this area. So you can actually see, you can specify which area. You, and as I'm going, you can see how the area sampling is happen. So it is adjusting. So in this case, I can say, you know what? This is maybe too bluish. And you can see how it's adjusting, selecting better one. We can remove some of those areas and maybe add more around there. Give it a little bit more area for to sample. Now let's zoom out and we can see how right here we have it. maybe too much of this area. Again, it's very simple now. Um, you can select what area you want to sample around, which area that you think it's a fit best. So we can remove it, reduce some of the bluish maybe. When we're done, we can click OK. And now you can see we sample, we don't have our area. We have a little bit of the bluish tint because I probably grab a little bit from top. But again, right here was was house before and after. You can see the sampling apply more realistic. And I go ahead, play around with this tool. Think, um, let me know what you think about. I think it's excellent addition, and it's make much easier and faster retouching with the content aware and most important with selecting area where I want content aware to grab samples from.